What's up guys? Welcome, good morning, good afternoon. I decided that today I was going to vlog a day in my life being in boot camp. So today is actually day seven. We're in week two of boot camp and I have been learning so, so much. And I thought it would just be fun to show you guys what a day in my life looks like, what we are learning today, um, kind of what the setup is of the program. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. I'm going to share my entire day from start to finish. So let's go. Usually what I've been doing is getting up around seven o'clock and then getting ready, getting dressed and jumping right into preparing for the day. So I make myself my coffee, get my water set up, get some breakfast if I need it. And then um, most days we have reading and maybe a few like assignments or things that we have to do first thing in the morning before class starts. So I have some reading that I need to do. I have to download something on my computer to be prepared for today because today we are learning SQL. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I typically also like to just spend some time in the morning going through my notes from the previous day going through workshops and labs which are just like practice problems that we do during the day after lectures um to practice what it is that we're learning i like to go through those again in the morning because you know sometimes not everything sticks yesterday particularly we were learning a lot of back-end concepts so we were learning uh, express, APIs, asynchronous coding, async await, those types of things. And they were really fun to learn, but I didn't understand everything. So I went through it last night and I'm gonna go through it again today. So one thing you guys are gonna see is that it is a very full day being in boot camp, um, and one that I wasn't really prepared for. I really thought I was going to have more time to myself outside of boot camp hours, um, but that's not the case. And that is particularly true when it comes to freelancing. I thought I was going to have a lot more time to do small projects on the side while in boot camp, but no. That's why I'm really glad that I made the decision I did to download Nerd Wallet and start using it earlier this year because it has really helped me to stay on track with my goals of spending less and saving more. And the features on Nerd Wallet's app that help you to find high yield savings account was a lifesaver for me because it has helped me to find a high yield savings account that makes me confident that I'm making the most back that I possibly can on my savings, which is really important for me right now since my whole focus is on boot camp right now. I don't wanna have to worry about money on top of that. That's super stressful. So if you are someone that is also looking to make better money decisions this year, definitely click the link in the description of this video to download nerd wallet right now you will not regret it they have tons of features on the app that help make making money decisions so much easier okay so every day about 30 minutes before class actually starts there is an optional review session that you can log into um, all of our classes are on zoom so you can log into those and what typically happens is our instructor will go through um, the previous day. So anything that we went over in the previous day, it's a good time to ask any questions that you had that you were stuck on. It's a good way to kind of get a refresher. Um, and oftentimes the instructor will go through any of the workshops and labs and like the end of the day 
quiz that they give us on the stuff that we learn. So it's just a good way to get a refresher, to get your mind working and warmed up. So I'm about to log into that right now and gonna just tune in for review. I don't really have any questions because I really reviewed a lot last night because I really wasn't understanding it and I think I'm clear, but just going through the review is often really helpful and I usually get a lot out of it. Because you're only adding things that you absolutely need. Um, so, you know, that's a nice conversation one day to have potentially on an interview. Okay, so review is still going on, as you can probably hear in the background. I realized when I logged into review that I didn't set up my notes for today, um, which is something that really helps me to stay focused. So I'm not like worried so much about the formatting of my notes. I can really focus and add context to the notes um, throughout class. Uh, so I did that. We are still going through some review, but we have about five minutes before class actually starts. So now we're gonna go to class. Um, looking at the calendar, looks like we're gonna start with a little lecture and then do a couple of workshops. So we're gonna take it easy. I'm going to uh, do a few stories on Instagram to update the Instagram community and then we're gonna get started for the day. A bunch of info stored in a way that makes it easy to retreat. Yeah, a giant collection of spreadsheets. Yeah, Andrew, that's also a good one. That's something that uh, a way to visualize. First lecture's over. We just got put into separate breakout rooms on Zoom so that we can set up sequel on our computers so it's like a workshop that's gonna walk us through the basics of what we're using um we are using postgres sequel postgres um and that's what we're downloading on our machines so i downloaded i started the download but I, it looks like there's a little bit more that i have to put into my terminal to kind of set it up for for real so yeah we're gonna do that um and today i just checked the calendar looks like we don't have any pair programming today which is honestly a relief because some days you just don't feel like it today i don't feel like being social so i'm really glad that <laughs> we are able to kind of have separate solo sessions today I'm going to put my desk up, put Spotify on, and get this done. Okay guys, so we just finished the morning session. We are now on lunch break. We get about an hour and a half for lunch. So I am going to go outside. It's such a beautiful day today. I'm going to take a walk, get some fresh air, take my mind off of things. Um, so far, so good. I really have been enjoying like working through databases using SQL, doing the exercises we were doing. So we'll see what the afternoon brings. Um, let's go. Are you ready, Raw? Are you ready to go for a walk? Yeah? All right, let's do it. All right guys, so we just got out of class. Um, we're done for the day. We had one lecture after lunch about schema design. So for those who don't know, schema design is where you are basically just designing the blueprint for a database that you are going to create um, and just making sure that you create a database that is efficient, accessible, 
all the good things. Um, we also had a, a group project today. It was our first group project. Um, I was with two other people and we like just built a schema design for Twitter based on what Twitter does right now. Um, and that was a really fun activity to kind of see how things connect, how different tables would relate to each other, all kinds of fun stuff like that. I won't bore you with the details, but really glad we got through another day. Like I said, today was day seven, so really excited to keep pushing forward. Now I'm going to meet a couple of friends for dinner and then probably do some review before bed. Um, and that's it, so 